Hey everybody, it's Brittany Starr as a boy, of course. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial kind of slash video type thing real quick just to kind of help everybody out there that has platinum hair like me because maintaining hair that has been processed and hair dried and you name it, you know, it dries it out really, really quick. Um, so just a few quick steps that I do to maintain my hair to keep from getting like super frizzy and especially I on my sides right here I had a really it was it was almost like nappy it was gross you couldn't even run your fingers through in the morning and now it's to the point where like you can just yeah now I can clip in my weave how you doing anyways okay so you're gonna take a shower and you're not gonna wash your hair with shampoo for one night because the shampoo is only going to dry out your hair and you need the oils on your scalp, your natural oils, to help the hair follicle grow. Not enough to make it, like, break out with acne, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, so I take my biotin, which is 8 milligrams. I usually take two of these a day, one in the morning and then one right before bed. So, um, you don't condition your hair, right? So, or you don't shampoo it, but you do condition. And this is the conditioner I use. I guess it's used for horses too, which is kind of weird. Whatever. Um, so what I'll do is uh, condition it. And if your hair is really dry, um, you'll want to do a leave-in conditioner treatment, which is you'll just get some like about that much in your hand, rub it together, put it all throughout your hair while you're in the shower, while it's still wet, and then when you have your towel, when you get out of the shower, just towel dry it, and it'll soak up all that extra conditioner that your hair doesn't need, so that way it doesn't break out your skin. Now, if your hair is still dry, um, I recommend using this. It's a keratin mist spray. Um, I've already put it in my hair, along with the leave-in conditioner, so I can't show you that, but basically, just spray it in. It's um, the keratin helps build hair, makes it strong, all that fun stuff. And the last thing I do, which I waited because I wanted to show all of you, is the castor oil. And when I first heard of this, I was like, castor oil? I'm going to be putting oil on my hair, okay. But it really does work, you guys. Um, it, I think, I don't know what's really in it. I know there's... Well, there's lots I would show you, but go on the website, look it up. Hollywood Beauty. Open it. It looks like this. It's like a petroleum jelly-like substance, but it's not very soft. It's kind of like a wax you use for your hair almost. So you're just going to rub your fingers in it. I use, usually just use my first three. And I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit. I'll put it on, rub it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to massage my scalp. So my hair is going to be a little bit crazy right now because I need to brush it and it's still a little bit damp. But once you've done that, after you let it sit and it dries, it's going to become really fluffy and light and it's going to be nice. Um, the other thing you'll want to do is make sure that you brush your hair because stimulating the little hair follicles on your head are going to make your hair grow, okay? So brush that hair. You don't want to look nappy, okay? My hair has grown a ton since I have been doing this. Uh, I started growing it in May, I think. And I used to have a faux hawk, and now it's like this. 
I can wear my extensions. Anyway, so that is some things that I do for my hair. And sorry, I've got to go. Sorry, I don't have makeup on. Next time you see me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be a drag video. Bye, guys.